schedule. I think they you show up the first day and they say, you're behind, you're behind. What are you gonna do about it? It's really tight and I, you know, I get it. They need to get open so that they can start making money. It's a business just like everything else is. And not only that, it's not that you can push the date back two weeks because they're trying to either hit the right before Thanksgiving for the Christmas stuff or they wanna come in right before spring so that everybody can sell everybody bathing suits. My mentor always said, you know, plan your work and work your plan. And to do that, you have to communicate your plan to everybody so that everybody gets on the same page. Teamwork kind of plays into that because you have to make everybody work together. It, you know, if, if one guy's pulling left and one guy's pulling right, your wagon's not gonna go anywhere. You gotta make sure all the horses on the wagon are pulling one way. I remember when iPads came out and I got mine. I was one of the first people at Hoard to get one. And uh, you know, I just took it and ran with it and, and haven't looked back since. Everybody that works at Hoard, is, you know, nobody shuts technology down here. Even the, even the uh, people that it's not from their generation. Don't want to have to carry around a big armful of drawings, you know? And so I just put them all in here. Basically, just the convenience of not having to walk back and forth to the trailer or walk back to my gator to get a set of plans. I look at my iPad probably 200 times a day. I'm a big list guy, everything goes on the list. I tried using paper and I kept losing it and the wind would take it away or I'd spill coffee on it, which I spilled coffee on my iPad. That was one of the ones that I broke. So <laughs> don't spill coffee on your iPad. <laughs>